I feel like it's still a bit too early for me to see the true value of money because when you busk, it's still relatively easier than what other people go through. My name is Marion. I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm one of those that actually just writes whenever it comes, but I guess that's when you get the most genuine songs. Busking wasn't so common like four years ago, five years ago. So I asked my parents about it, like if I could do it. And um, at first they weren't very supportive of it. When you busk, right, you need to carry all of your equipment with you. That's sometimes the thing that prevents me from busking. But then I realized, actually, there's not one night that I've regretted busking. On a good night, like a public holiday kind of night. On Christmas, the highest that I've ever gotten was like about 400. And then um, the lowest that I've ever gotten was like six bucks. <laughs> but different locations give you different things. I started being financially independent at the end of 2016 because of like family issues. So I tried to take it upon myself to just help out my parents. So everything like from transportation, my own allowance and like, yeah, I have to like take budgeting on my shoulders. When I look at my bank account and I start laughing, that's when I realize that I have to go and busk. I try my best to busk as often as I can, but because busking is also what puts food on the table for me, it's very hard to accumulate an amount on the university fund. Honestly, I've been very lucky to find an outlet that also brings me money. If there were no busking, I wouldn't know what I would do, honestly. I don't think I'd be able to be as financially independent as I am right now. And I understand the privilege that I'm in because not everybody can like, play guitar and sing. I'm planning to apply for LaSalle. I think it's a couple tens, but on the low side. But like for RMIT and MDIS, it's like 70k. So it was pretty obvious which one <laughs> was more doable for me. There's tuition grant that is available because I'm a PR. I actually got it when I was um, in Poly. I've applied for that too, so hopefully they <laughs> approve that. But the catch is that um, I'll have to work in Singapore for three years after that. If you really want to be financially independent, it would take a lot um, to be able to juggle your personal hobbies, your school, and also like a job that you can actually get a substantial amount from. Maybe freelancing even, if you have like skills that are very niche, like designing or coding. So I've been trying to like be more independent, not just financially, but also in my way of thinking. Um, but what inspires me to do what I am doing right now is looking forward to the future and growing up. It's more of me wanting to be better as a person and also fixing my life that makes me want to do these things and inspires me.